Our interaction around REG and Seneca began in 2008 with conversations with Nova Biosource. Unfortunately, Nova Biosource became financially distressed and ultimately the assets that were at Seneca, including the IP estate, were available uh, and REG obtained those assets out of bankruptcy along with a loan from the bank that had gained control of the facility at Seneca over time. 2010 is when the, uh, the people and what we now know today as the Bedrock Foundation of Equipment at Seneca came into the REG system and from that moment forward we improved, upgraded, and innovated on what has become a real battleship within the business. The plant here in Seneca is a 60 million gallon a year facility located on the Illinois River. It's centrally located within the United States, which gives us a great opportunity to be very diverse. So our, our plant is comprised of three different um, uh, 20 million gallon a year facilities, making up the entire 60 million gallons. Uh, we are a multi-feedstock uh, capability plant utilizing high and low FFA feedstocks. You know, the uh, modes of transportation that we have in and out of the facility are rail, truck, and barge. We average about 100 trucks a day um, for the most part. Uh, for the week, we're bringing about 600 trucks a week for an average of about 2,000 a month. Uh, with it being a little bit slower on the weekends than the Monday through Friday. We can average anywhere from uh, 400,000 to roughly a, a million gallons on the barge. The location of RAG Seneca right on the Illinois River where we uh, after acquisition upgraded with a barge loading and unloading area along with its close proximity to Interstate 80 that goes west and directly east into Chicago and beyond is a, a really great logistics position for that size of facility at 60 million gallons per year. We were very excited when we were looking at and bought the uh, REG Seneca plant uh, near Chicago. Although we had our own technologies, the Seneca technology, you know, was different and it's called glycerolysis. And one of the beautiful things about glycerolysis is it's able to convert the entirety of a high free fatty acid, low carbon feedstock. Typical high FFA plant uses vacuum distillation to remove free fatty acids prior to transesterification. This creates a co-product called fatty acid distillate or FAD. With glycerolysis, REG Seneca and REG Madison are able to take FAD and other high FFA products, convert them into glycerides, and then use traditional transesterification to make biodiesel. The team that came to us and is with us today at REG Seneca also worked in many cases on the construction of the asset today that is now REG Madison. And it's been a really satisfying situation in that both assets which are productive today and generating good cash flow have become sister facilities and sister plants with the teams that are interoperable and continue today with having communication with that team up there in Madison um, to make sure that they are learning things that we had to learn the hard way so they do not have to learn hard lessons. Seneca, Illinois is another example of the wonderful economic development that occurs when biodiesel is well sited and we bring together industrial processes people with great capability and intellect, raw materials from the surrounding region produce and deliver high quality advanced biofuel to the nearby countryside and, and business community. As the plant has improved its facility over time, it has also brought great economic benefit to the local area.